Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel and, and welcome back to this part 2 update on the um, Airfix 172 scale uh, Bristol Blemin, let me know, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, let's uh, let's pop over to this and get on it. So guys, here here we are. Um, I've just put a just put a first coat on the underside. Um, I think it maybe needs another coat, but um, let's just give you an update on the which was near disaster in my point of view. Um, the the fit from my point of view uh, of the the fuselage. The joint of the fuselage in the cockpit was was absolutely a disaster. Now it hasn't turned out too bad, I don't think. But obviously, the purists among you will say, "Oh, yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong." I, I I understand that, but it was a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Um, what I ended up doing was obviously this, the wings on this back, the fuselage is one piece, and then the cockpit and the glazing is all one piece this this glazing's in three bits so you have the two side walls and then this big large bit at the top now you can probably see that's not lined up or it's sitting very proud of the fuselage it was just an absolute nightmare now don't get me wrong i'm really happy the way it's turned out there's a few still a few wee gaps but it's something i can live with but uh if you're building this kit please be aware of that um you just need to get the alignment 100 percent I think what it's what happened in my point of view was there uh, eight, when I was putting the wings together there's a spar goes between them and that was too proud so I had to had to shave that off. Um let me see if I can just show you it quickly in the instructions. Um so see this bit here, it's pointed out in red. Let me just show you. That. So this bit pointed out in red, that gets the dihedral. The shape of of the wing. Now, you need to put that in really precisely. And when I did put that in, it was too proud because I was getting an awful lot of gaps between the um between the 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 wings when I um. Sorry, I'm just closing the blinds there to get a bit more see more light. So, and. It, the, there was quite a lot of gaps here when you dry fitted it, so I've sanded that down to, to close up the gaps, if you like. But for some reason, it wasn't square. So I think just pushing in the the cockpit, there was there was over a millimeter of a gap. Now I've I sanded it to within a life of its existence, and got got it fairly close but if you can see from the the putty lines and that where the fill is it, it wasn't square but hey ho I, I got it together and that seems to have st stuck so i maybe need to touch up this side here there's a bit of a gap if you can see the camera will pick that up for you there's a gap there in the fuselage and the glazing i think there's one on the other side yeah and then that's that's not flush but Anyway, it's been a nice rebuild now, you know, so um, fingerprints. Uh, as I said, I've I just done the underside in white because um, this is the colour scheme I'm going for, which is option A, I believe. Um, yeah, so this this is the scheme I'm going for here. So it's got that, that, that black and white. Uh, so if I put that like that, it's got that black and white identification mark on the on the other side. So so that's that's what I'm going after at the minute. But um uh so <laughs> uh so there, there you are guys. Um uh, a sort of a, a, a debrief of the disaster I'm off with the blaming. Uh, you know, it's it's I'm still enjoying doing it. I'm gonna get the best bit now, which is the uh, I think you agree is the painting. But um there you are. I hope you enjoyed that wee update. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, the next one will probably be the final reveal and uh, get the camo one and, and, and a bit of weather and, and whatnot. But uh, until the next time, uh, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Happy modeling. Cheers. Bye.